Welcome, welcome, I'm Sophia from The Potential Forever, and today's video is going to be my Project Pan 2024 intro. This is going to be a long video because it has to have so much stuff shoved into it. I have 100 products I'm trying to finish. Actually, it's 104 products I'm trying to uh, finish in 2024. So as a result, a lot of those long haul items have to go in right now because otherwise I have no chance at all of finishing anything. So I'm going to get started right now. A quick disclaimer. I am going to be posting some videos that had to go up at the end of 2023, but couldn't because I had to travel on an emergency basis. Not my story to tell, so I will not, but those videos are coming. I just really want to get this up right now. So the first item is the ABH Master Palette by Mario, and this is, you know, everybody knows what this palette looks like. It's a beautiful, very deep palette, and that is the problem with it for me. I can really only use this palette in the fall and in the winter. In the winter is actually... <laughs> It's a little difficult because some of these shades are not cool toned enough for what I like, but this is what I'm working on. If you saw my 100 items I want to pan in 2024 video, which I will link up here as well as down below, you would have seen that I already had pan in Bronx, but I didn't yet have pan in Marina and Paris. And I was able to hit pan on those mainly because I was just making looks happen to see what I liked, how I liked to use this palette, because it's really difficult to just plop everything into a project without having an idea. So I was kind of figuring that out and that was easy enough for me to hit pan on. I've also realized that Claudia is a black shade with a bluish tinge, not a blue shade. So I've been using this as, um, as an eyeliner. The shades that I'm having the most difficulty with are Fifth Avenue and Kim. I don't actually like Kim as much as I thought I did, and this is going to be a problem for me. I think that's going to be the hardest shade for me to use. And I think what I want to do between now and my next update, and I'm still trying to decide if I want my, my updates to be monthly or bi-monthly, I think I'm going to stick to monthly just for the sake of having these items just rolling out because I have so much to work on. So my goal for February 1st is going to be to hit pan on Muse, hit pan on Fifth Ave, and hit pan on Kim. I'm going to try and use up uh, Paris. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but I think I can use up Paris and expand the pan on Marina. If I can hit pan on Claudia, I'll be really happy. Also, for anybody who has not watched my 100 items I want to pan video, I have zero interest in any of these shades down here. Uh, Violetta, Isabel, Lula, or these two shades up here, Hollywood or NYC. Although actually with NYC, I think I could still kind of use it a little bit as eyeliner when I'm uh, using um, eyeshadows from a different palette I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention. But it's just these seven shades that I'm going to be working on this year. Another palette I want to work on is the Lime Crime Venus Immortalis palette. And my only goal with this palette was to use each of the eyeshadows 10 times. And I have been doing some uh, work on it. I am wearing it today. I'm working Hail today, a little bit of Ash and uh, Unseen as eyeliner. Um, I use marble as my inner corner highlight and I find that that is the best way for me to use it. Again, the goal with this is to use every shade in this 10 times and I think I can actually roll this out probably not in February but most likely in March. I think that's my goal to get this out by my March update. Continuing with the eyeshadows, the next one is a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury uh, Quad and this is um, the goal here is for me to use these three shades, which are original to this quad, uh, to a point where I've hit pan on each one. I would like there to be significant pan, not just like the tiniest sliver of it, but I have to hit pan on these by the end of 2024. This one right here is not original to this palette, and I have mixed something that um, is... Uh, in another palette that I'm going to be introducing later on this year, but I decided to just pop that in here a little bit because that shade will work really well with this quad and this is great for travel but also I really want to be able to just reach into just one one palette to get everything that I want to but the goal here is by the end of 2024 to reach pan on these three shades and then finish this hopefully by 
my March update. The next eyeshadow is a single. It is the Jouer. Uh, this is like an old single from them. This is in the shade Cappuccino. I had a huge pan in this when I showed it in my um, 100 items I want to pan in 2024 video. And then I repressed it and I needed to use it again. And um, there's already pan again. So there's just very little left in this, but I realized that it just keeps getting lost in my stuff because there, there are just so many palettes. So I'm going to pop it into this project right now because I really want to try and use this up before, uh, fe my February update. So I just can get this off my list of things that I want to pan in 2024. The next eyeshadow palette I want to introduce is this Natasha Denona, my dream palette. And the only eyeshadows I want to work on in here are actually, let me, let me, let me make this work oh that's difficult okay this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like on the inside and the only eyeshadows i want to work on in here are instinct and edgy and only because they are cream to shadow um not cream to powder shadows and they're drying out and i can really only use these now like in the winter and then maybe in the fall again so my goal really between now and hopefully when i have to roll this out would be to use each of these shades five times i think if i use these five times I can probably reach pan. I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, these are not my favorite shadows, honestly. And I think that if ever she came out with a palette that had a lot of those, I would not buy that palette. It's just not for me. The next eyeshadow I want to put in this project is this Makeup Forever Aqua Excel Color Paint. They haven't been making these for a while and they sent this to me when they first launched it. So that was a very, very, very long time ago. These are still working really great. Uh, this is in the shade I12. So my goal with this one, it is something that I'm wearing today as the eye base and then I have the um, Lime Crime one over it. Uh, my goal with this is to use this 20 times in 2024 and today's use number one. I will count it because this is going to be a really difficult product to use. It is a very pigmented silver and there are really only so many times you can use silver. I'm probably going to wind up using this predominantly in videos. I do enjoy it. It's just where am I going to wear silver to? Where am I going? But 20, 20 uses on this one. The next item is the same formula but a different shade. It is the Makeup Forever Aqua Excel color paint in shade I-80 and this is a pink. It's a more lavender pink, like a cool tone pink versus the rose gold that I used up last year. This is very different, very beautiful. And I want to introduce this now because this one I want to use up. And since I'm right here and there's cool white a lot here, I will need the full year to use this. So I'm going to introduce this now so I can use it in, uh, in January. I think I can use it once or twice in January. Definitely can do a whole bunch of pink looks with this in February around Valentine's Day and then probably spring, summer. And I'm probably going to have to be mindful of that I finish this before mid-fall when I'm no longer going to want to use this shade. So that's the goal and that's why it's here right now. So wish me luck. This is quite a lot of product. I believe it has, oh yeah, 4.8 milliliters of product or 0.16 fluid ounces. Yeah, I've used it, but I haven't used it that much. So it's going to be a lot of work. The last eyeshadow I'm introducing in this palette is actually just something I've pressed. It's a pigment that I pressed. It's in this Wet n Wild Brulee um, eyeshadow pan, but it is a Max Vanilla pigment. And I already have a pan in this like right here at the very top. So I just want to use this up completely. I think I'm going to be able to do it without a problem. All that and I've only introduced eyeshadows. So I'm going to try to go through the rest of it very quickly. The first item I want to finish, it is this Itty Bitty Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I have been using it because I wanted to see if I wanted to introduce this one. In particular, this is their regular one or the Tarte one that I also have in this, in my video of 2020 uh, of items I want to use up in 2024. Um, I'm going to introduce this only because I want to get rid of it. I have been using it, as I said, I'm at the base of like this little bit here. So at the very top of the jar here, point is I want to just use this up. I have, um, two more of these that I want to get through. So I will, you know, get through this and then I'm going to start working on the tart because that one is my favorite. As I mentioned, I've been trying to use the makeup that I 
talked about in that 100 items I want to use in 2024 because I needed to see when to introduce some things, how to make them work, so on and so forth. And this one has to come in right now because it's the hardest for me to use. And it is the Merit Beauty Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. And the reason this is the hardest for me to use is because this is a very hydrating serum, which is which sounds great, except for the fact that by the time I'm done with my entire skincare routine, I don't need this anymore. My skin is fully hydrated. So this one's going to be a really tough one for me to use because it is like right up here. I'm going to mark it on screen right now. So it is like right here. So it's right there. This is going to be a toughie to use. And the next product is also going to be tough for me to use because of the particular shade it is. And it is the, again, Barrett Beauty uh, Cheek uh, what is the full name on it? Flush Balm Cheek Color in the shade Cheeky. This has nine grams of product and I've barely used it. And look how much product there is. Like that dome is serious. Like that's just, that's a lot. That's a lot of dome. And let me show you what that looks like. This is the color. It does blend out or, and sheer out a little bit more. But the reason I'm having trouble with this one is because it is it has a very cool toned lean to it. And this is not something that I enjoy in the summertime. So I have to use this now. So I have January, February, March, and probably half of April before I'm going to want to lean towards other shades. And then probably I can start with it again at the end of November if I haven't finished it by that point and I highly doubt I will. And my only goal with this is to use it, I was gonna say 10 times, but that's a lot because I have other blushes I wanna use maybe five times, that's not enough, seven times. Let's do seven times a month. And then if I use this seven times a month, at least I have some chance of finishing this off by the end of the year. Since I already talked about a blush, I might as well continue with the blushes. And the next blush I want to introduce is this Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette in the Fair to Light shade uh, from last year. And this is, again, one of the very few items I only have a usage goal on. And I my goal on this is to use each of these pans 20 times. Now, is that going to really make much of a difference in how these pans look? Probably not, but I'm not getting any use with it in the drawer, so I might as well bring it in. So again, my goal is to use each of these pans 20 times. I'm hoping to be able to reach that goal by the end of February. This is going to be a lovely, lovely product to have through February with all the, you know, love in the air. But yeah, that's my goal, 20 times each. That's a lot. If you think about it, that would be 80 uses on this palette at that point, which was which is going to be more than what I got out of it in the year that I owned it prior to introducing this in. Thankfully, that's it on the blushes, but instead of blushes, now I have a ton of bronzers to talk about. And the first I want to talk about is this NARS Laguna One Bronzer, Cream Bronzer. Um, I had a huge, huge pan in it in the middle, so I like just scraped everything to the side. And I have a little bit less than half of this left. This is a perfect bronzer for me. I'm not wearing this today, but I love this bronzer so much. I do want to use this up because by the end of 2024, I would have had this for about two and a half years. And at that point, I will actually repurchase this because I love this one so much. I love the shade. I love everything about it. Let me, let me swatch the, oh, it just feels so amazing. So this is what that looks like. And it's a very cool toned bronzer and that's why I like it. It's cool toned, but bronzing at the same time. As I said, this is not the only bronzer I have in my project or the items I wanna use up in 2024. So this is probably going to remain in this project through the entire year. And the way I'm gonna uh, manage this is I'm going to set a usage goal on it. I'm gonna try to use this 10 times a month because if I can do that, that means that I'm going to you know, have 120, uses in order to finish this and even i think that 120 uses will finish this completely i mean there's really not that much left so 120 uses hopefully will will be enough to get this out of my collection and this at that point will be in the project with because this is my favorite bronzer the entire year so i'll be happy voila win-win and when i'm not using that bronzer i'm going to be trying to pan this one by merit and this is their balm Bronze Balm in the shade Quince. Now, I have used this. This used to be domed, and it was actually in my 2023 project. So as you can see, it's not used. And it's no longer domed. This is completely, you know, flat down. And when I actually, you know, roll it up, there's quite a lot of product in here still, but not as much as there used to be. I think that this is going to be uh, another usage, uh, usage goal, but I'm going to try to aim for... 
Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to do another 10 on this every month because I, I think that's going to be the best way to allow me to use other bronzers as well. This is what that looks like. It is really light. And so I think I'm going to try and use this. This might be something that will take me until summer to use up. And I think that's probably going to be my goal to try to finish this particular shade before summer starts because I have its sister shade in clay and that also has to get used up this year. It's just that I've now had these for more than a year and they, they got to go. They got to go soon because they're going to go bad. Merit is a clean beauty brand. So I'm going to introduce this now and hopefully finish this by like, let's say June 1st. I'm going to try to finish this by June 1st. Look at me putting timelines on these things. That's a bad idea if I ever heard of one. The next item is a contour, actually. It is the Flower Beauty Low Light Liquid Contour, and I am right here with it. This is in the shade Light, and the only thing I want to do is, by the end of the year, just get to like the bottom of the O. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted the top of the O, the middle of the O, or the bottom of the O. Honestly, anywhere in the O, I'll be happy with it, but... My goal is to hopefully hit the bottom of the O, but because there's still like a ton of product between this and this, I do want to, you know, actually work on it and I don't contour all the time. So I think that that's going to be, that's going to be something that I can still aim to achieve by the end of the year, but not like by the, by the beginning of summer. So I'm going to introduce it now to hopefully, you know, get five uses out of this a month in order to reach my goal by the end of the year. This is like, Long-term planning here, guys. Long-term planning. Guys, I took something out of the project. Oh my gosh, yes. But I will be introducing it closer to summer because it was more of a summer shade anyway. But I'm still on bronzers, but this time we're doing powder bronzers. And the first one is the, yeah, first one, is the Sunny Days bronzer from NYC. Yes, NYC. This brand is no longer around, but this was something that I depotted ages ago. I, when I first showed it in the 100 items I want to use up in 2024, there was no pan in it, but again, I was, you know, experimenting with it to see if this was a bronzer that was best suited for the summer or I could start working on it now. Um, to be honest, this is probably best for when I am a little bit more tanned, but I have to say, I don't actually have the time to just introduce this later on in the year. I have to introduce this now because even if I get to like 10 uses on this a month, that is better than nothing because I think this is going to be in the project the whole year. This is no longer moving fast. It must have been like really close to pan when I introduced it. I just couldn't see it. But everything else is just packed to the top. So this is going to take a very, very long time. But I'm introducing it and I'm going to aim for 10 uses a month so I can actually make some progress on it. That's the goal. So the next item I'm introducing is a duo, and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Duo. This is in the light range, the fair to light range. And my only goal with this is, is again, one of the few items that I have uh, with a usage goal, and it is to reach into this 100 times. Now, if I'm using just the bronzer side 100 times, that's great. The highlighter side 100 times, that's also great. Or 50 times each, 30 each, I mean, 30, 70, 60, 40, however I use it, just a hundred times because I have not used it that many times in the years, I think more than seven years that I've owned this. So that is my ultimate goal to actually just keep using this to so actually get to actually get usage on it. And what I've realized is that the reason I wasn't liking it in the future is because I was using it in the wrong seasons. This is a product that or especially the bronzer that I can use only in the winter. This does not show up on me at all in the summer. So I have to use this now. And my goal is to use this about 10 to 15 times a month. I was originally thinking 10 times a month, but if the shade doesn't show up on me in the summer, I have to actually, you know, get as much of that usage now as possible. So that's why I'm introducing it right now. Plus 100 uses, a lot of uses. So that's the goal, 100 uses on this. And because I just talked about a highlighter, you know I'm going to talk about another one. It is the Ciate London Moon Dust Highlighter. This was something that was given to me at a brand event, so I don't remember the formula. It just literally came like this. I didn't depot it. And I have been using it a little bit to see whether I like it or not. And I do like it, but this is a little bit powdery and a little chunky. I'm not sure if I'm going to love this throughout the entire year, but I have to introduce this right now because in my 100 items I want to pan video, I said I wanted to finish this. And if I don't introduce this 
right now, I will not be able to finish this. Uh, I mean, it's at a point where I have to use this at least 20 times a month to make any, any, to have any chance of finishing it. And with all the highlighters I already have, plus the ones I still have to introduce throughout the year, I don't know if that's possible, but you know what? Let's figure it out together. I'm going to, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to be dedicated to this. And what's a video for me without a cream version of whatever I just talked about. And it is going to be the El Palo Glow Beauty Wand in the shade Champagne. Now I don't have a lot of this left actually. I can't squeeze this down too much because I'm afraid that um, it's going to, that there's no stopper on it in any way. So I'm somewhere around there I think. I think it's still feasible for me to finish this. Can I, I hope too much of it didn't come out. Let me see if I can swatch that. Yeah, it's a beautiful shade, so I really am liking it. Um, I think I think it's lovely, and I want to finish this because this is about the only one of their products from this line that I liked. But goal is to finish this, and hopefully I can finish this before the end of March. And the next Elf Halo Glow product I'm going to be introducing is the liquid filter in the shade 1 Fair. Do we, do we see that? Where? Where is it fair? No. So I want to finish this. I am at this point right here, which is like right above the elf. And I want to finish this throughout the year. I'm going to be using this under my foundation. I might use this on my chest, but I'm going to work on finishing this and getting it out of my collection because they have a lighter shade now and I do want to buy those, but I have two of these. The other one is also, the other one's in a deeper shade, I think. So I need to, I need to work this out of my collection. The next item I want to introduce into this project is something I'm actually conflicted as to whether I should introduce at all because it's such a gimme product at this point, but it wasn't when I first talked about it in my 100 items I want to pan in 2024. And it is the Color Drain Skin Sticks, skin, uh, I mean, multi-use foundation stick. I should have just read it. There's eight grams of product in this, and there was eight grams of product in this when I first talked about it in that video that I filmed only like two or three weeks ago. I don't remember at this point, but not that long ago. And I'm almost done with this. Like, I'm going to show you how little I have left. This is it. This is all that's left of eight grams of product. And I got to this point in just trying to figure out how best to use it. Like, I have to use a setting spray. I have to use it under my eyes mainly as a as a concealer more than anything else. Like I can't really use it all over my face. I've used so much of this and it's got these little um, hard particles at the top. I don't know if that's because of the temperature or something else, but I think I can actually finish this by my February update. Uh, I might as well introduce it. And the next foundation I want to talk about is actually this L'Oreal True Match uh, foundation in the shade N1 Light Neutral. And I have no issues with this. This is a beautiful product. I love it. I have it in another shade. This shade is N1 and that's why I'm introducing it right now and only to use this about 10 times over the course of the next month. Um, I am like up here. Hopefully at some point I'll reach this point right under True Match. There's like a silver line there but the goal is to just use this and you know I have so many foundations. I don't want to let anything uh, sit for too long but this is a wonderful foundation and I'm introducing it just because I want to be able to use this as well. So I'm going to be introducing foundations throughout the year and I'm going to have usage goals on them because I want to cycle through my foundations and that's going to be the first one I'm introducing. And just like the foundations, I want to cycle through my concealers as well, but these next two are going to be ones I'm actually going to be trying to achieve certain goals on by the end of the year. And the first one is this Bye Bye uh, Dark Spots Concealer and Serum uh, with 2% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and caffeine from It Cosmetics. I'm gonna, the best way to look at it is actually from this perspective, and I am right here, and my goal by the end of the year is to reach the base, when it's turned upside down like this, of the silver stripe. That is literally my only goal, but that is still about a centimeter of product I have to use up, and then once I've done that, I will be super happy with that. The next item, I, the next concealer is actually the Dior Backstage Lash Perfector Concealer. I have it in the shade 0N. And this one, I am right here. Uh, I have been using it a little bit, but I am right here right now. I just shown a flashlight through it. And my goal is to reach the base of the O. So it's this is a little bit more than a um, centimeter that I want to use. I think that's close to like a centimeter and a half. So 
My goal is just to cycle through these and just use these throughout the year and I have to introduce them right now in order for me to be able to actually do that. When it comes to powders, I have two, but they're the same powder, really just two different shades. It's the NARS, what is the full name on it? Uh, Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. Uh, the first one is Creek, and this is really great for all over my face, but especially the perimeter of my face. The second one that I have is in the shade Clip. Now, this one's a real problem, let me tell you, because this is, oops, <sighs> this is super light, and it doesn't work very well under my eyes. I think it just cakes a little bit too much. So this is going to be a particular problem to use. This is probably going to take me the full year, whereas I think the other shade won't. But I do need to need to introduce them now in order for me to actually work through them because I have other powders I like and I don't want to not use those powders and use these on days when I would prefer to look a specific way. So I'm introducing both of these in right now, but both of these are to use up. They were $35 each. Let's talk setting sprays. I have two. One of them is this Rare Beauty Always an Optimist setting spray. Now, here's the thing. When I introduced this, or when I talked about it in my 100 items I want to pen in 2024 uh, project, this was like right here, right around the E in Rare. And I've used all of this because I was trying to figure out how to use this, the the Colored Rain um, product, uh, foundation. And I need this in order to make the other one more emollient. So that's basically how I've been using it and that's why I'm introducing it right now or introducing it at all. I might as well, you know, I'm like somewhere around the T in beauty. So it's about like two, uh, close to two inches of product. I think I can finish this before uh, February and get that out. Might as well give myself some freebies at this point. Uh, when I'm trying so hard with the other one. The next setting spray I'm introducing is this uh, all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. I literally just sprayed it for the first time right now to make sure that the uh, nozzle, or no, whatever that is, the spray was working. Um, and I just want to finish this. This is in the 30 milliliters. Yeah, 30 milliliters. This should not be too hard to use up. It's just, it's been in my collection for so long. So I, I do anticipate using this up before um, summer starts, at which point I actually prefer a different setting spray entirely, but I do want to get this out of my collection. I actually have a full size, one full size left, and then I'll be done with them. I've had those in my collection for so long. Let's move on to lips, and the first item I want to talk about is this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips in the shade Coconut. I really do like this product. I have used it, I just haven't used it that much. It's not my favorite shade, so I do want to get it out of my collection, and I'm hoping to be able to get this out of my collection by before March, so um, really looking forward to that. When it comes to lip liners, I have three neutral shades that I'm working on right now. The first one is this uh, Jeffree Star one that they sent me ages ago. This is in Birthday Suit and this is that shade. It's an okay shade. The next ones are actually the same formula, both from Makeup Forever. This is an old formula that they sent to me. This was in their High Precision Lip Pencil formula. They no longer have this. And I have it in the shade 23 and 11. This one is 11 and this is 23. So it's just varying shades of basically the same thing. I think I should be able to use these before the year is out. The number 11, which is the longer one right here, should be easy enough for me to use. But number 23 has been a little bit more difficult and that's why it took me all year to get down to this. I mean, like this is the difference between them. You see that? Yeah, this is the difference between them. I've done. I've done well. And the last lip pencil I want to work on is actually a red one. This is going to be a little bit difficult and is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade 714. I mean, it's a red lip pencil. Does anybody really need a swatch of it? But I'm going to show it anyway. It's right here. It's a little bit, I think I would call this a neutral red. And the reason I'm introducing this is because I want to use this up completely. I've had this for years. I tried panning it in 2023 and that was not successful, as you can see. But I'm also working on a MAC Russian Red lip uh, lipstick. And I know this shade never came in this packaging. I changed out the packaging. There's a method with freezing and whatnot. I'll actually probably record a reel on that or like a YouTube short and post that. But this is the shade. I do want to use this up because I've had this in my collections for, for so long. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible now that I look at it because it is a lot of product but it is a really beautiful red. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do my best on it. I have to say this is probably going to be something that's going to take me the full year and I probably still won't finish it, but the goal is to work on it 
Another MAC lipstick I want to work on is this MAC uh, Reverence uh, Powder Kiss lipstick. So the shade is Reverence Powder Kiss is the formula. This is what that looks like. There's quite a lot left. I haven't used it very much, but that is the swatch of it. It should be easy enough to use, and I'm hoping to actually use this up. I'm introducing it right now because this is going to be very difficult to use up. I mean, it's a MAC lipstick. It's a full lipstick, so it's barely used. <laughs> barely used. Uh, moving on, when it comes to lip gloss, I have two lip glosses. One of them is this Maybelline Lifter lip gloss in the shade silk i have two of these that's why i am working on using it up that is what that looks like should be easy if i spend the whole year using it but there's like no windowing or anything yet so working on that i'm also going to be working on this fenty beauty gloss balm in fussy that's where i'm up to so there's still a significant amount to use still gonna take me some time but I do want to use that up it is a really lovely shade to use in like the winter time oh it's beautiful and I guess this is technically pigmented lip balm so I guess I can talk about it and the summer Fridays lip butter balm in vanilla beige is a beautiful shade very similar to what, what I'm wearing right now though what I'm wearing is actually a completely different item and that's what that looks like and I am at the halfway point with this probably no i feel like at some point yeah i must be at the halfway point with this yeah so i'm at the halfway point with this and that's gonna be interesting i thought there was a lot less of that apparently not and the other summer fridays lip butter balm i want to use up is in brown sugar i have it in this half size this had seven grams of product so it's literally half size the other one is 15 and this one i can really only use like right now or in the fall again. So I do want to get working on it. I think it's actually going to be most ideal in the fall, but I want to get some use on it, put it in right now. And hopefully, you know, even if I get it to like the halfway point right now, and then I have to finish it off in the fall, that's fine. I just need to get started on it because there's quite a lot of product in there. A lipstick I absolutely have to use up and I have to introduce right now is the Sophia Loren lipstick from Dolce & Gabbana. So I've already like depotted the whole thing, which is quite a lot. And I've put it in this little compact that Ed, from Edward Best that I've already used up. So this is how much there is. I actually just like went down and used it to see how far it went down. There is so much product, but I absolutely have to use this up. It is starting to go bad. It is still fine right now, but this is something that I have to use up and I have to use it before spring because this cannot survive another summer. Uh, absolutely not. So the goal is to concentrate on this. This shade is really phenomenal for right now, January, February, and probably March. It would be wonderful in the fall, but I don't think this is going to last until then. It's like really cutting it close. When it comes to eyeliners, I only have one that I want to work on, and it is this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Overdrive. This is not a product I intend to finish this year, but it is a product I intend to uh, get to like this, the top of the two at 24, and that is basically two inches of product I have to go through, and I need to start on it right now in order for me to be able to do that. I think that this shade will be phenomenal right around now. So my goal with this is actually to use this about seven times a month, and I know seven sounds like such a random number, but it's not five, which is too little. It's not 10, which is too much because uh, then every look will include this essentially. So it's, it's, it's an in-between. So that's the goal. I have three brow products I'll be working on this year. And the first one is this Urban Decay Brow Blade in Brunette Betty. And I am introducing it right now because this doesn't seem like a lot of product, but I can only use this on the outer wing, on like the tail of my brow, because it is so dark. So this is still going to take me probably until the summer to use up, because I need so very little of it. I'm not gonna be using the ink stain side. I don't care for it. I don't like it. It's not something that I want to force myself to use. I'm just not down for that. The other one I'm gonna be working on is this It Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. This was brand new and I have been 
I've been using it. I needed a brow product. And uh, this is going to take me the entire year to use. This is phenomenal. I use it on the inner half of my brow. And this doesn't look like a lot of product, um, especially when it compared to the other one. But this is like really um, a very hard formula, which is good. It still imparts, you know, pigment, but not an insane amount. And it is flat. It's like shaped flat. So this will take the full year to use. I think I've only used it like a handful of times, but this will take a full year to use. What will also take a full year to use most probably is this Morphe Clear Supreme Brow Sculpting and Shaping Wax. Now, I only just started using it a couple of days ago because I wanted to see how to use it. So I haven't made much in the way of progress on this and I wasn't trying to. I was trying to figure out how to use it because the first time I tried to use it, I tried to put it on the spoolie then and, and it didn't work. There was too much product then I tried to put it on like with a brush and there was too much product so the uh, last way I figured out how to use it is to just take um, a little tool like this take a little bit out put it on the back of my hand like and flatten it out and then take a spoolie and make sure to rub the spoolie all the way in so it's covered by it but then that doesn't Put too much product onto the brows so this is probably going to take me the full year to use but that's fine by me I have just a couple of things left to like skincare hair care stuff like that and the first one I only have one hair care item so I might as well just talk about it right now it is the caviar anti-aging miracle uh, multiplying volume mist you know I did not use this today I should have because I got no volume right now I completely forgot it was out here in the bin but I was at like like somewhere at the top here when I started uh, talking about it in that 100 items I want to pan in 2024 video and I was able to get it down here so I don't think this is going to be an issue this is probably going to be something that I finish up before March so that's fine by me but I've had that in my collection for so long the next item I want to use up actually is um <laughs> you won't know what this is if you didn't watch that video but this is my decanted um Diptyque Dosan perfume and I'm going to try to use basically two vials of this when I fill this vial up I realized that there's still enough product there where I'm gonna need to fill this up one more time so my goal is to work on this I'm not going to be forcing myself to use this I love this fragrance and I don't want to get it to a point where I hate it because I was forcing myself so as a result I need to introduce it right now so that I can naturally reach for it whenever I want to without having to force myself to use it oh my god that smells so good I love that I have like three skincare items and then I'm done the first one I want to work on is this pixie retinol tonic and I am at the halfway point now I'm going to be using uh, retinol uh, on my face but I want to use this on my neck and my chest because you can't really use uh, I know you can't use tretinoin on your neck if you're starting out and I'm very sensitive so I want to introduce this I want to build up to that then on the days where I will not be using that or retinol I want to be using the good genes all-in-one uh, lactic acid treatment I am just down here at this point I don't have a lot left when I talked about it in my um, 100 items I want to pan in 2024 video I was somewhere a little bit above that but I've used it like a handful of times to make sure that it's still like working well and it is but this is a really expensive bottle this was $125 so I want to finish this I'm at this point and I think I can finish this before February and then finally the last item I want to talk about is this L'Oreal Midnight Cream I yeah I don't have any other description of it I have been using it and then I forgot but I am I think I've used about a third of it. I just want to finish it off and get it out because it's a really heavy glass bottle. But other than that, I am done. This is it. I don't even know how many products I introduced. A lot. And I know this video was very long. Thank you very much for bearing with me. These things had to be introduced right now so that I can work on them throughout the year. And I don't want to have too many projects going because I will not be able to keep that in uh, to keep track of everything. I will see you in my next video. Bye.